if you want the best controller settings for claw players in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2, then you made it to the right video. But before you go around skipping the video for the settings you want, there's something very important that I need you guys to listen to. Since Fortnite on controller has been significantly nerfed with tons of changes on aim assist and just a lack of updates, we need to do something in order for us to stay competitive. This is where Cinch Gaming comes into play. Cinch Gaming is one of the top tier custom controller companies out there. They sell a lot of affordable controllers with competitive features and aesthetically pleasing designs. My personal favorite is the 24 hour camo tactical pro Cinch PS5 controller. It has two action buttons on the back and it also just looks cool. There are tons of different controllers here and you can also customize one for yourself if you want to. To get a 5% discount, all you need to do is type in buffalo at checkout or use the given link in the description. Now that that's out of the way, let's get right into the controller settings. So let's begin with the PlayStation controllers. Personally, I feel that the sensitivity values you see on the screen right now are the best for PlayStation controllers. With 1.9 on both building and editing multipliers and 39% on both look horizontal speed and vertical speeds, you have a lot of control when it comes to your raw mechanics. 39% also helps your shotgun aim a tiny bit. Considering that you're going to be playing on claw, it would be smart to have a more controlled sensitivity. Then we're going to have 10% for both ADS look horizontal and vertical speeds, and we're going to have our ADS turning boost ramp time on 0.20 seconds, as well as our look dampening time on 0.04 seconds. Feel free to copy the rest of these settings if you feel like it. Personally, I think they are nice for PlayStation controllers specifically. I have a different set for Xbox players, so don't worry. Now before we go on to the controller binds, I want to tell you guys that you should be playing on Double Claw with the PlayStation controller. This is the most optimal and you'll be significantly faster if you play on Double Claw. Let's start off with X for Jump, Right Stick Crouch Slide Repair, the right side of our D-pad for Sprint, Circle for Toggle Harvest Tool, Left Stick for Switch Mode, and Triangle for Edit. Then we're going to have R2 Select, L1 Confirm, and R1 Reset for the editing controls. I love using the bumpers for the editing controls, it just gives you more options for other binds on the front side of your controller, and it's just the easiest way to edit since your fingers are already resting on it already. And of course, you can't go wrong with Triangle Edit and Left Stick Switch Mode. This is just a solid combination all in all, and you will get the best out of Claw if you follow these controller settings. Moving on to the Xbox controllers, which we're going to follow a relatively fast sensitivity. Feel free to copy these values for a PlayStation controller also if you want a faster sensitivity and vice versa. With build mode and edit mode sensitivity multipliers on 2.2, as well as our look horizontal and vertical speed on 42%, you can get a pretty fast sensitivity all in all. You can adjust the look horizontal and vertical speeds if you want it to be slower or faster. Anywhere from 40% to 46% is a good number and won't hurt you at all. And of course, we're going to follow the same ADS sensitivities on PlayStation with 10% on the horizontal and vertical speeds, 0.20 seconds on returning boost ramp time, and 0.04 seconds on the look dampening time. Once again, feel free to copy the rest of these settings if you want to. I actually used to play on the Xbox controller back in chapter 2, and these were the values that I was using. For the controller binds, we're going to follow a similar approach. You could choose to play double claw like this, or you could still play on just the standard right hand claw if that's too uncomfortable for you. We're going to have A for jump, right stick for crouch sled repair, and the top side of our d-pad for tactical sprint. Then we're going to have left stick for our toggle harvest tool, and Y for our switch mode. Then, we're going to have edit building on B with RT select, LB confirm, and RB reset, which was the same for the PlayStation controllers. All in all, these are pretty solid for general Xbox, though I am still a believer that Claw is best when used on a PlayStation controller, that won't stop you from being good on an Xbox controller. Just keep grinding and putting the effort in Fortnite. You can be anything you want as long as you put in the work. Before the video ends, I want to thank you all for watching this video. Tell me if you have any suggestions on future videos on the comment section of this video. And if you have any questions, then feel free to comment and I will try to answer your question as much as possible. If you haven't subscribed already, then make sure to subscribe. I want to make YouTube a full-time job and I also want to hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of March. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.